Hi everybody. I'm three minutes early, but I figure that's better than being three minutes late. So while I wait for people to hop on board, I will just um, get things ready. I think that's a good idea. So how's everybody's week been so far? My week has been really good. Um, last night was our technique class and the technique was dyeing our different kinds of ribbon, um, dyeing them with our Stamping Up blends. I see I have, oh, that's maybe me that's watching. I was gonna say, oh, I see I have one person watching, but that that's very possible, that's just me. Um, the, and I'll show you those cards in just a little bit. The technique worked great and um, we had a lot of fun. Okay. Just getting things ready here. And what the, oh, okay, I have to get the cards. I think I'm ready now. Hi Sally, so nice to see that you're following me on my Facebook lives. I hope it's coming through to you okay. Um, there. Okay, um, I have five o'clock, so um, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Cindy Ellers. I'm from central Wisconsin. I've been a Stamping Up demonstrator for about 12 years. Uh, if there's ever a chance that you might need some Stamping Up product, I would sure appreciate it if you would just consider letting me earn your business. So um, without, it looks okay. So far, so good. Um, Right now we have the Stamping Up Celebration and the Occasion uh, Catalogs are out. And as soon as I flip my camera around, I will, um, I'll show them to you. I also have a February host code. If you go to the Stamping Up website and then select me as um, select me as your demonstrator, then use the host code. Okay. Now. Now let's go and I'm going to flip my camera around. It'll only take a little bit and, um, then we can get started. How's that sound? Okay. There we go. All right. I'm going to put that right there. I think that looks pretty good, too. I don't even have to do anything with it. Okay, right now, as I was mentioning, we have the celebration gala going on. And that is when, if you're not aware of it, that is when you purchase $50 of Stamping Up merchandise from any of our catalogs. You get to pick something from our celebration catalog for free. There, let me get this up. That'll make it so it isn't so close. There we go. There. Um, as I was mentioning, I do have a host code and that is for February. 
That is for all orders under $50. There it is. Okay. I'll just put this aside. As I was mentioning, last night was our technique class. And um, the technique was dyeing the our different kinds of ribbon with our stamping up blunts. And because these are alcohol markers, it works great. This one we did um, Poppy Parade. And this one is, this was a satin ribbon that we dyed. This one was a um, gross green ribbon that we dyed with balmy blue. And, you know, they're just, it starts out as being white ribbon and um, ends up being just beautiful, in my opinion. Okay. For this card, we use the Painted Poppy stamp set with a Poppy Parade base with a black layer. This one uses the Daffodil Delight with a balmy blue, um, with a balmy blue uh, layer. Okay, all right. So I'll move along on that. It's almost Valentine's Day. These are a couple of the Valentine uh, projects that two of my stamping ladies, Arliss and Bernie, made and brought them to class. Put some candy in them. I thought they were very cute. All right, I'll put them aside. This was this was our uh, fancy fold card. It's called a flap card. And when you open it, that's what it looks like. I thought that turned out just great. Okay. Now I want to share with you our kit cards. The kit class is coming up the end of February. And I just put the email out yesterday, and you'll be able to pick from this card, You're the Best, this Oh Darling, You're Fabulous, a baby card, a child's birthday card, And it's your day with um, the umbrellas, this um, umbrella under, under my umbrella, is that what it's called? Yep, under my umbrella uses the umbrella builder punch. This just became the stamp of the month if this is something you're interested in. Okay, and this lovely thank you card and adult birthday card. So these will be the cards that you'll be able to pick from for our kit class. Some real, some really uh, very pretty ones. Okay. All right. Now tonight's class is centered around the is centered around the um under my umbrella stamp set and uh the punch this is just a sample of the card that i made while i was practicing and stuff it this one uses the heartfelt uh stamp set for the hearts and the designer series paper I just wanted to show that you can use this. It doesn't have to be a Valentine stamp set. You can use this for um, this particular um, stamp set with the showered with love works great for a Valentine's card, even though it wasn't meant to be a Valentine's card. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, tonight's class, might as well get this all ready is going to use soft suede 
it's going to use pear pizzazz seaside spray hi sandy i'm glad you're watching glad you could join me i miss seeing you but i understand and then we also are going to be using these are the three colors we'll be using but we're also going to use the umbrella builder punch this is um this umbrella prop punch goes with the under my umbrella stamp set and then the other stamp set i'm using tonight is enjoy life i thought that was pretty nice okay the under my umbrella with as i was saying the under my umbrella with the matching punch is my february stamp of the month you can go and purchase just the stamp set for $24 and um, receive four card kits with everything you need so except the ink so that you can start stamping as soon as you get your um, stamp set. You can make it a bundle with a punch. Okay, we'll need the punch. Put that there. You can find that on page 42 of the Occasions Catalog. If you bundle it, um, you get the stamps, the stamp set and the punch for $35.34. And then I include the four card card kit for free. Okay. All right. So that's that. Let's start stamping. I'm going to... This is a photopolymer stamp set. So that means a lot of times you have to have a mouse pad, or in this case, this is the paper piercing mat so that you can stamp. All right, here's my card kit. And we're going to be using a pear pizzazz base, a flirty flamingo layer, and then two white pieces that are exactly the same size. One is for the inside, one is for the outside. Okay. Oops. This is a uh, decoration this will be our umbrella okay so let's start now I'm wanting to use the subtle embossing folder the best way to do that is to do your stamping first before you use that and um, I just think that works out better I also found out if you stamp your umbrella, then you know where to put the um, umbrella handle. Hi, Cindy. I'm glad you said hi to me. I'm also going to take my scrap and I'm going to stamp it for the umbrella. Okay. That's going to go right there for now. And I need my greeting showered with love. Okay. Pretty soon we will be. Um, pretty soon we probably will be showered with love. So, you know, spring's just around the corner. I know that because the husband is starting to think about, um, he's starting to think about maple syrup. It's almost time to start tapping those trees. Okay, now I'm going to take my pear pizzazz. 
from the Enjoy Life stamp set, I'm going to take the, um, the grass. This can be a little tricky. And I'm going to put it along the edge. Like that. And get up again. Just like that. Okay. That's good. Now. We have to go and stamp our. We have to stamp our umbrella holder. Hi, Arliss. I'm glad you could make it. I hope it's clear tonight. I'm watching it on my uh, laptop and it looks okay. I know we talked about this last night. Just like that. That was in soft suede. And now I'm going to stamp in Seaside Spray. I'm going to stamp my raindrops. And randomly, of course. This is a nice stamp set. I really like it. Less is better. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now our front of our card is all done. Arliss, it's nice and clear tonight. Good, good, good. Do you think maybe I got it finally figured out? I have a whole list of things I have to do before I go live. Now what I'm going to do is run this, this finished piece through my um, subtle embossing folder. Lining up the bottom with this line, like this. You probably could stamp it after you emboss it, but it's a lot easier to do it before. It'll only take me a second. To run it through my big shot. Okay, this just adds a little bit of texture, and that's what the finished looks like. Okay, now we're going to take our Umbrella Builder Punch, and I'm going to line it up like so. Um, one thing I learned with, with the, when you're stamping like on this piece of paper by stamping your umbrella there then when you come with your dimension you know right where to put your umbrella so that it you know so it's all nice and centered I'll put some couple dimension halves on there Just like this, whoops, just like this. So there's our front, okay? Now, let me get rid of this. You get my glue, can't find anything because I end up having to rearrange my desk. Okay, of course it was nice and sunny out today, well, this afternoon. Maybe that has, maybe that makes a big difference. I'm, I have no clue. But we'll take it. We're going to, here's our front. I always turn it upside down. Okay. And. Here's our front of our card. So that's what the front looks like. Okay, let us take our
take our memento black and let's um, stamp our verse rain or shine you're always on my mind that sounds pretty cool huh? like that and then we're going to decorate the inside like we always do And then if it's a little bit, which mine is, we'll just take our scissors and trim it. Okay. All right. Okay. And this will be the inside. And this is our card. How nice is that? Okay, I'm almost done. I did it within oh, 19 minutes, just like I usually do. As I mentioned, tonight's class was all about the build a umbrella and the under my umbrella with this card being the one we just made. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I realize five o'clock probably isn't the best time and I could um, I could work on that. But if it's clear and I came through and I didn't screw anything up, you know, it's a win-win situation. That's the way I'm looking. Oh, there was one more thing to do. The winner from last week's the winner from last week's comments and um, share was our very own Dandela Maynard. I had 24 people leave me comments or share this, share my video, and Dandela is going to win, or rather she did win, this lovely designer series paper, uh, Golden Honey, it's called. And I know she can make just some beautiful cards with it. So, Danella, within the next week, I'm going to give myself a week. I will get you this paper. So, thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll let you get back to the rest of your evening. Thank you. Have a great rest of the week.